All right, Shalom, Makim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and teach well, and sincere salutations to all the Akim out there pushing his truth and sincerity to wake up the hopefully late. Shalom, this is Brother Manatazak coming back with another video. Abaratazak, it be edifying. All right, so. I just pretty much wanted to go over, uh, you know, the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because knowing the name, all right, is important within this truth, man, within this walk. All right, because how you gonna pray and you don't know the name, man? All right, because you got Nate over in IUIC, man. That's, that that doesn't uh, bring forth thy name. That doesn't teach the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, or say it isn't important. All right, when it is important, man, it's like the fundamentals. All right, it's pivotal within this truth, man. All right, it's the foundation when you come into this knowledge, man. When you learn you what Hebrew is like, all right, next thing you know, you gotta learn what is the what is the true name of Yahweh Hashem? What is the true name of the Lord? All right, what is the true name of His only begotten Son? All right, His name is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh meaning He is or He exists. All right, and Yahweh Shai meaning He saves or He delivers, man. All right, that's the meaning and the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that is again. It is crucial that you know his name, all right, within this walk. Because when Jacob's trouble come and you calling on the name of oh, that sweet Jesus, man, all right, he ain't he ain't gonna save you, man. All right, he gonna forsake you. All right, he ain't that ain't that is ain't that ain't nothing. All right, but a dumb idol, man. All right, can't speak, can't eat, don't do none of that, man. And don't hear your prayers, none of that. All right, there's only one true God. And there's only one true, and he is, he only has one true begotten son, man. All right, and that's his name, his the name of the heavenly father being Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. All right, so I want to uh, bring this out. All right, because they said we won't have a name until the kingdom come. All right, but that's not true. All right, because in the Baruch, all right, it clearly states that we will get the name in our captivity, man. All right, so this is Baruch chapter 2, verse 29. If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me because of stiff-necked people. All right, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, their God. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think all right think upon my name so how are we gonna think upon the name of the lord yahweh shot if we don't have the name man all right you go back in every other captivity that we've been in man egyptian Assyrian, babylonian all right uh medo persians all these captivities that we've been in we always had the name of yahweh shot we always knew all right, that we were Israelites. But in this time, all right, when we came over to the Americas, we lost the heritage, man. All right, as it says in uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, man, we'll be discontinued from our heritage, man. All right, and part of that heritage was having the names of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, and we lost that. We were discontinued from that, man. But now we're in a times where we're gaining that name back. All right, where we're gaining the name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai back. We're learning the names, learning their meanings. All right, but you still, you got Nate. All right, of IUIC saying, uh, uh, we ain't, we, uh, you don't got to say the names, the name ain't important, coming out with all these excuses, man. All right, I believe he is really paid off, man. All right, it goes deeper than the 501c3 charter now. Because you got a whole congregation of people, man. Most, some of them probably sincere. All right, and you withholding, all right, the name of your house, you have a shot from them, man. How wicked could you be? All right, Nate is only for self gain, man. All right, and this should piss you off, man. All right, yo, you like, come on now. You supposed to be a leader, all right, over the sheep of Israel, man. Cause you have, well, watch me, but you, but you ain't given the name of the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That ain't right, man. All right, it's like you blocking others from their salvation because you want to make more money, because you want to. Uh, have not to pay taxes, all right. You want to continue to live in this world, 
When we finna have a whole kingdom where we ain't got to do none of that, man. Come on now. Because when Jacob's trouble come, all right, and you know the names, but your congregation don't, what's going to happen? They they going to be calling on Jesus the Christ instead of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai not going to save them in that time because they calling on the wrong names, man. All right, another precept. All right, Proverbs. 18 and 10. All right. The name of Yahweh, all right, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right. And that strong tower, all right, is going to uh, be a shelter for us. The name, the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, is going to be a strong tower for us in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, so when Jacob's trouble come and you catching all hell, all right, and you, and you know, you finding yourself in certain situations, how you gonna get out of it if you don't have the name of the Lord, man? If you don't have the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, you gonna you just gonna be stuck in that situation or die. All right, because you ain't teaching the name of the Lord or saying it ain't important when it truly is important. All right, you you gonna have your congregation. Half your congregation getting killed or taking that RFID chip, man. Because you're not teaching the right doctrine, man. Are you teaching that they are Israelites, man? That's good, you know. All right, but when it comes to the mark of the beast, man, that is important. All right, when it comes to telling your congregation that they shouldn't take the chip, all right, that is important. Or telling them that the names of the true names of Yah of the Lord and His only begotten Son is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not no Jesus the Christ. Not no Most High Christ blessed. Nah, man. Because when you come, when you say those names, man, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah got a different vibration to it, man. All right, there's power behind those names. All right, but G but when you say Jesus the Christ, man, don't nothing, ain't nothing, man. It's that wicked vibration that you pushing, all right, in your congregation. Come on now. And the first slave ship, all right, that came to the coast of West Africa, all right, was named Sweet Jesus. Like, come on now, man. And you tell your congregation that's the true name? No. Man, this is why it is important, all right, that you know these names. All right? So I want to get this as well. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 3. Because this is exactly, all right, what we're doing in this time, man. All right? Be this is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 3. Because I will publish the name of Yahweh. Ascribe ye greatness unto our power. All right, let's get into that word publish, man. Cause that is very important. Get into these get into the Hebrew, man, is important as well. All right, cause you saying Nate saying, nah, we don't do that nigga Hebrew. Like what that no man. Alright. And that word um publish, cut off, alright, which says to call, call out, recite, read. Cry out, proclaim. All right? So that's what we're doing in this time, man. When you see the brothers opening up their lessons or they walking talks all right, or on the highways and byways, man, what we do, we give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Not no other God. Not no other Savior, man, but Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? Because Yahweh, even Yahweh, all right, said he wouldn't give his glory unto another. All right, Isaiah 48 and 11. All right. For my own sake. All right, for his own sake. All right, not, not nobody else's. All right, but his own, man. Even for my own sake will I do it. For how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. All right, so you how about shooting how shy? All right, why you seeing us? All right, why just like in the uh, ancient times, man, when Moses went to the Pharaoh, he would always say, "By you how about shooting how shy? Will I do this, man?" Before he would make the uh, river turn to blood. All right, brought the locusts, the frogs. All right, hell mingled with uh, the hell mingled with fire. All right, he already said how you how about shooting how shy is doing this, man, magnifying the Lord's name, not Jesus the Christ, man. All right, that name doesn't mean anything. 
All right, but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will not have his name polluted, as it as it says, man. For how shall my name be polluted? All right, he wouldn't pollute his own name, man. That's why he always say, "For my name's sake, for my name's sake, man." All right, that's why in the scriptures you see that. All right, and he's also not giving his glory unto another. All right, and that's why we proclaim. All right, we pub, we go out on the highways and byways through these sit downs. Who we pray to. We publish the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. The true names of, of uh, the Most High and His only begotten Son. All right, so I'm going to uh, end off on this last precept. All right, Acts 4 and 12. All right, so I'm going to start at verse 11. This is the stone which was set in naught of you builders. Which is become the head of the corners of the corner. All right, that's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, verse twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other. So there's not there's not any salvation in any other name, man, or any other person, or any other being, but Yahweh or Yahweh Shai, man. All right, for there is none other name. All right, read that again. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved all right so through that name man knowing that name all right you will be saved man all right we will be saved through the name of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right but also you have to have faith in those names man not just say the names all right not just know that you're israelite but you have to have that faith behind it man all right so yahweh shai man is a hey, the scripture saying all right, there is no salvation in any other name, man. All right, and there is none other name under heaven given among men. All right, whereby we must be saved. All right, because only the elect all right, will get the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, you're going to have some wicked Israelites that's going to have the name, but they don't believe, man. All right, and they're still going to get killed. All right, but with that. This video was edifying, you know, just a quick hit. All right. You know, uh, going over all right, how the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is important. All right. With that, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakah HaKudash and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and teach well. And sincere salutations to all the Akim out there pushing his truth and sincerity to wake up the hopefully elect. All right, and push in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, Shalom.